Hi folks, here we are. Another update on Collins Model Railway. What I've done over the last couple of days, as you can see, I got this PBA adhesive by here. I've used this around the track. What I've done, I squirted some glue along between the track on the outside edge and inside edge. Quite an extensive bit around the layout. I shall show you what I've done now is all the way around here this is over the last three or four days and all up along the platform side by here and right around the corner all down here it is looking starting to look the part now and we've done all the way down to here into this corner by here now when I use the PVA glue what I've also got I don't know if you can see them, I've got several of these model brushes is when I put the PVA glue down what I do I just spread it about with a brush and what I do then I Add these scenics by here, this dark green powdery grass stuff, and this lighter green stuff by here. But what I use as well, occasionally, is some of these sample pots what I got by here, which are from Wilco. I haven't used this colour yet. I use a bit of the dark brown, and I've used uh, not this colour by here, but a darker green. I've used a bit of that around there. Now, I shall have to add a little bit more in there. It does need some more finishing touches here in there. I shall add a bit more grey on it sometime. And a bit more brown on the black. There we go. I shall show another update now in the next few days. Here we are. We have now cleared this section there. Of the rolling stock I had here. And what I've done now, I've stuck this green matting down by here. Now, I'm going to have to get some more green matting now to sort this section down along by here. And we shall come back to you soon again. Hi folks, what we've done over the last couple of days. And we have moved these cottages around by here a bit. So I can get on with that little bit of work around here. And what I've done this yesterday and today is I've stuck this paper down on here with some of the adhesives I got. And as you may well notice, I have painted it. I run out a little bit of paint by here now at the moment. A really small sample pot, but I can always get another one. And what I've done, I put the tracks back temporary on here for now, giving a rough idea of where the tracks are going to be on the sidings and stuff like that and as you may well notice i've got a point coming off this main circuit over there which i may well plan to either store carriages in there i might well put another branch line off the side as well or a siding sorry we'll see how we got we'll see how space see what space we got on it and we'll see how we go the next few days and that leave this paint dry out and also what they've done over here I put the point back by here, the left hand point, and as you may well notice, it comes down, it's got four coaches, and there are bits of rolling stock down over there. Now I can stack some carriages in there as well, so we shall plow on with it in the next few days, and we shall also give it a bit of a running session as well, and we'll see how we go from there, and add a bit more soon. Here we are, we have finally filled in the little piece of the gap. I trimmed this piece off here now, it is looking okay. I put a bit of ballast around the track here as well. It needs a bit more touching up, a bit here and there. But it'll do for now. And I got one more final piece, a little piece of timber to put in here, a little triangle shape in here. I'll probably put Two little dowel pegs in here 
And I'll probably put two little double pegs in this side. And we shall, as you can see, I've had to lift it up a little touch by here. I'll have to put, I'll have to take a bit of cardboard out of there. And as I got some bits of backing of when I bought these cubes here, yeah, they were eighth of an inch thick. I'll put one or two on by here, cut them by shape, and I'll put the little triangle piece in here. And that's it then. And then I could put a piece of fence in across here. And that's it then then. Or I might well bring the fence into by here or a hedge and put it across by here. We shall have a look at that in the next few days. There we are for now. Hi folks, today I had this import call in MIB models and it is a class 56 British Rail steam locomotive. We shall now take it out of the box and we shall show you about the locomotive. Here we are, I'm not sure if you can see it all. I shall take it out of the ice cube now in a second. There's the side of the box. Class 56 BR Black Early Emblem. And here we have the box. And on the rear of the box, what we have here is the brief history of the Class 56. Now we shall take it out to the box, should drop out, there we go, we have the usual paperwork here, showing you all the bits and pieces of the locomotive. There we go, how to lubricate it, replace parts, and other bits and bobs. There's about, there's the warranty, product maintenance and care. And what do we have here? Join us at the Batman Collectors Club. There we go, we put that over to one side. And... Here we are, back to the locomotive, as you can see. We shall now take it out of its container. Slide it out like so. And... As you may notice, we've got a couple of decals on the top by here. Little white things by here. And other bits of bobs. We should now take it out of the box, right here, she's pretty well weighty, the number is 6639, as you can see she is an 062, the buffers are sprung loaded, front and back, she has the British Rail Decal on the side by here, and I'm not sure if we can quite see by here. You've got the brake handle by here, plenty of coal in the bunker. There's quite a bit of decals on the locomotive. We'll have a little look at the other side now, more or less the same as the other side. Plenty of decals on you. You've got the handrail by here on the side. Other little peripherals on the top by here, as you can see. Handrail on the side by here as well. We shall try and have this up and running on the layout soon. Here we have the first running of my new Batman locomotive. Class 56, number 66. 3-9 You seem to be running rather well
and now we should give them a run in reverse. Well, she's had a little bit of a running session and loosened up a bit. And um, I shall add some carriages here again. The carriages I wish to add behind this one are these in the background. The brown and cream ones. These are a GWR livery and that good van as well. 